This is Anna Maria with CorporateProfile.com reporting from Wall Street on Kitab Pharmaceuticals, ticker KTOV on the NASDAQ. Kitab is focused on late stage drug development. The company plans to file for marketing approval this year for its lead drug, KIT302. Kitab just reported new data from its phase three trial demonstrating KIT302 has beneficial effects on kidney function. These findings address a major concern of kidney injury side effects caused by current standard of care drugs. The company's combination drug, KIT302, simultaneously treats pain caused by osteoarthritis and treats hypertension, which is a common side effect of standalone drugs that treat osteoarthritis pain. KIT302 is comprised of two FDA-approved drugs, celecoxib for the treatment of pain caused by osteoarthritis and amlodipine, a drug designed to treat hypertension. The new data obtained in the phase three clinical trial showed that celecoxib increased serum creatine compared to placebo. Increased creatine can lead to impaired renal function, a major concern with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. In contrast, while amlodipine alone reduced serum creatine, a greater reduction in plasma levels of creatine was achieved in patients who were dosed with KIT-302. This suggests better renal function for KIT-302. Given the potential marketing advantages of these findings, Katov plans to conduct a clinical trial designed to scientifically validate these beneficial renal effects. In parallel, the company plans to file a new drug application for marketing approval of KIT-302 at the end of 2016. Again, I'm Anna Maria reporting from Wall Street on Katov Pharmaceuticals, ticker KTOV on the NASDAQ.